Have you ever been confused about how to start a watercolor painting? In this video, I'll show you how I stretch watercolor paper, give a brief overview of my painting supplies, and walk you through the initial stages of a watercolor painting. To keep the video short, I will split the process into two videos. In the second video, I will dive into the detail stages and show you the final painting. Step one, choose your painting surface. Selecting a high quality paper is one of the most important steps in starting a watercolor painting. I suggest choosing a 100% cotton paper. There are many brands available, but I primarily use Arches. Once you choose your paper, cut it to the desired size. In my case, 18 inches by 24 inches. Step two, stretch your paper. I recommend stretching the paper before painting to avoid wrinkles. Stretching begins with soaking the paper in water for a few minutes. In this case, 140 pound Arches cold pressed paper was used. I soak it for about five minutes before removing it from the tub, allowing excess water to drain off. Then I staple the paper to my painting surface. It's important that you choose a sturdy painting surface that won't be negatively affected by the wet paper. Once the paper is stapled, I'll use artist tape to cover the staples and create straight borders on all four sides of the paper. Once the paper is fully dry, you can start painting. I didn't film the pencil stage, but you can see in the video, I was a little aggressive with the eraser in a few areas. When possible, you want to avoid erasing your pencil marks. Obviously it's not avoidable unless you're drawing perfect drawings every time, but when possible you want to avoid that. Step three, set up your work area. I will go into depth about my paint and supplies in future videos, but here's a sneak peek at what I'm working with. I use a combination of Daniel Smith and Winsor & Newton watercolor paints and a mix of brushes from different brands. I use the John Pike palette, which provides me with a large mixing area. Step four. Initial wash. I apply the first wash at the top of the page using a blue sky color and work my way down towards the horizon. I reduce the pigment as I move down to create a gradient. Once I reach the horizon, I dash in a stroke of desaturated red before I hit the canvas with a warm yellow. At this point, I don't want the sky blue color to mix with the yellow, which is why I introduce red in between the two. I'll add green in the next step. Step five, second wash. At this point, the initial wash has dried, so I move into the next stage. I begin with a muted green color for the background trees. I'll vary the mixture, but will use varying ratios of ultramarine blue and yellow ochre or Hansi yellow medium to mute or dull down the greenness. I'll add a very small amount of alizarin crimson or pyrrole red. You can play around with these to test different options. The shadow side of the tree is a similar color, but I've increased the amount of ultramarine blue and added burnt sienna to make a grayish green color. You'll see that some of the darker shadows have a purple tint to them. Moving on to the main attraction. As you could probably tell from the name of the painting, the main subject is one of the rides at Canopy Lake Park in Southern New Hampshire. I knew the moment I saw it that I'd be making this painting. I was mesmerized by the orange glow of light hitting the underside of the canopy, as well as the intricate details and decorations on the side. I start with pyro orange mixed with yellow ochre on the top of the first wash. The goal was to provide a bright base layer to the shadow to mimic what initially drew me to the scene. Before the orange color completely dries, I paint over it with a thicker, darker version of the same color. This was achieved by mixing in burnt sienna and the tiniest amount of ultramarine blue. In the next video, I'll go into the detail stages, paint the foreground, and finish the painting. Thanks for watching, and if this was helpful to you, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more painting content.